got it. You're sitting on an airplane, there's really no place to go, and instead of finding your own movie to watch, you start watching someone else's screen and with no audio. Right, now studies say people do this because they either don't want the pressure of picking a movie or they like the risk of being caught watching somebody else's. I'm not so sure I'm into that, but, <laughs> but this isn't the only screen we spy on, especially with today's technology. It's called shoulder surfing. Interesting, so it's when you spy on someone else's phone or laptop when you're behind them. Studies say it's so popular because it doesn't require any special skills. Right. I think we've we've all done this before, right? Oh my gosh, you know, absolutely. You're sitting on a plane, there's no place to go. Oh my God, yeah. You know, you're sitting there and you're, you're three hours into the flight, you still got <laughs> another five hours to go. Somebody's got a movie on and you're sitting there watch, watching the movie. Right. I, so recently, so there was a new Game of Thrones, right, that came yeah. out on HBO. And I said, well, I'm gonna download this, I'll put it on the iPad since it's not gonna come up on the screen right. on the plane. I'll download this, I'll watch it either on the, my trip there or on the flight back. And I'm sitting there and I wasn't really, the seat I had didn't have a lot of people like around me. It, right. It was, yeah. So I'm <laughs> sitting there and I'm watching the movie and I, the, the TV show and I didn't, I didn't realize yes. some of the scenes. <laughs> Some of the scenes in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when you're sitting there and yes. you're kind of caught off guard? Yes. And I'm sitting there going, I'm like, oh. Ooh. Ooh. And people are like, next to oh, you going, who is this well, trash guy? I mean, guy? Like, look, I, look, I get Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones can be, this was the new series. I'm used to the, you know, the violence. Right, we, I, right. We can all handle that. Right. right. But there were a few scenes in the in the other, the, the newer thing. And I was like, oh. Uh, can't it's probably be. not for can't be. probably not good at thirty three thousand <laughs> feet with a bunch of you know people sitting around me. <laughs> you know, probably shouldn't be walking. You know, oh. This probably shouldn't be the thing. Right. Well, I you know I listen. I love a good romance. Right. Sometimes I don't just do sweet and I'll right. do steamy. Yeah. Oh. So I was on. I literally. This where's my funny. phone? This I'm going to show you. So I remember I had like you know my Kindle whatever yeah. whatever it was and I remember like I got to a spot and I was in the middle seat. They probably didn't care. Right. But then I started to get nervous. Because there were two guys I, on each yes, side, right? Yes, I got yeah. to the right. spot. And this is me reading. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this. I was like trying so they wouldn't see me. Because I was like, they're going to they're gonna judge. Right, they're going to judge. They're going to judge. Didn't you tell us that yes. you, were on a, yeah, you were on another flight, right? Okay, this is going to be a book now. Right, okay? this is a book. Okay. So this was, it was, it was cowboy themed. Giddy right, up. See me. And I went to the bathroom <laughs> and I turned it upside down so that the gentleman next to me wouldn't judge me. And my and my so when I came back from the bathroom, right. the book was turned over. Oh. <laughs> he was interested in what the he title was. He was interested because again I was reading very close as well, worried that he was gonna judge. Do you <laughs> want to or can you reveal the title to the rest of the class? I think it was like, I don't know, probably like Writing something, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, it was a cowboy book, I'm gonna leave it like that. Giddy up, you said. That's right. It was enough for the guy when I went to the bathroom to, to turn sneak the, to over. To turn the book over. And then Which, for the rest of the flight, I was like humiliated. Right. Which is a little weird to me. That I think it was. Did that, right? I, I mean, think I'm it not was. judging anything that somebody sitting next <laughs> you know, that somebody sitting next to me. Now they say it also states that that people highly <laughs> underestimate the amount of time others have spied on their screens. That's right. So the next time you're riding on a train, bus, or sitting in front of somebody at a football game, hide your phone or get a privacy screen protected. Right. Which, you know, it's, look, it's true. There's nothing, nothing. You'd be very bored. There's nothing going on here that I don't, that I would like would say, here, about. here's my phone, yes. take it, you know, watch whatever, you know, you can look through whatever, whatever. It's actually very boring. It's very boring. There's nothing, there's nothing <laughs> exciting, like, like the owner. It's, it's also, also very boring. Well, you see my phone when stuff's come up. It's yes. usually my kids. It's usually kids. Yes. It's usually locations. It's usually somebody has gotten someplace. <laughs> a bus update the other a day. A bus update the other day came through as yeah. well. But I've sat on a plane before. You've watched the movie a million times before. Yeah. You know what the scenes are. And you're kind of like either dozing and you sit and, you know, the, the seat's over there. And you're yeah. kind of like, oh, all right, I'm watching that. Well, did you see the viral video? It was um, a guy in the plane was watching the show The Office. Okay. And Dwight. Oh, yes. I okay, did see that. So the character of Dwight, he had a mask on. He was, you know, peeking over, and then he surprised. Did he say something to the guy? I, I don't know think, if he ever did. I think he may have either that or he posted a picture of himself sitting there watching watching, watching the screen. Right, which I thought was really which funny because I, I used to too. love that show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brendan, 
are you spying on anybody's screens while well, you're you, can, you can sense the moment, right? Yes. You'll be, you know, doing whatever. I'll be, you know, enjoying uh, clips of myself. <laughs> and then, oh, are you the guy? Yeah, look, it's me. That's no. right there. But I'll be watching Seinfeld or whatever. You know what I like. And I'll be, and you can just feel the person next to you. Kind right. Of one of Glancing them. over. Yeah, like they want to know. And then I turn it away. Right. <laughs> and then I turn it this way. No, and it's right. just, you have to laugh at it. Now, yeah. Audrey, here's the problem with that guy. Doesn't, uh, apparently this person knows nothing about hiding the evidence. He should have turned it back. You never would have known. Yes. I know. I figured he like freaked out. He probably looked back. So you coming and dropped it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it like, yes, but it was up. It was the wrong way up. I remember putting it down so he couldn't see. Right. right yeah. You just put it in the front. Uh, the the bat. The thing in the front behind the with the, the seat. puke bag. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He won't reach you. The thing, <laughs> back of the seat in front of you. Oh, but it, air travel is just glorious, isn't it? And I, I like to travel for Metallica shows, as you know. So recently I was coming back, and I like to use the time on the plane to delete the blurry photo. Some of them are not good from the show, so I'll de delete that one. And I'm, the guy just next to me on a recent flight goes, hey, is that Metallica? And I said, oh, yeah. So now we have to talk about uh, yeah, me yeah, going to the show, and I'm just, try just trying to delete photos. But he was a lovely man, had a nice conversation. But you never know if the person's going to be... He was a lovely man. He, he was, was but he man. might... He could not have been lovely. He could have been annoying and belligerent and bothersome. You just don't know. That's why it's good to keep to yourself on the plane, right? Oh, he was so lovely. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, let's lovely. check in to find lovely. Let's check in with our viewers, see what you guys had to say about this topic right here this morning. Jackie is up first saying, I don't concern myself with others on the plane unless someone is hurt and I can help in some way. Oh, that's very nice. Cindy doesn't snoop either, adding, no, I'm busy reading or doing crosswords. I don't like flying so I keep busy by making the time to make the time go by. Dennis chimes in with, I haven't flown in years. I, when I did, I would get myself engrossed in a book or a newspaper. Oh, that's good. You know, there's a past the time that way. And I love what Michelle shares with us as she closes things out. I totally watch over the aisle. I watched the entire movie of It's a Wonderful Life with no sound on one time. That's what it's about. And there's nothing worse than being in that, that middle seat and you just, you got people next to you and there's nowhere to go. You're stuck. Hello, isn't there somewhere else you could sit? Nothing else is available, I presume. Okay, well, we'll do our best to get to these next 30 seconds. <laughs> Thanks for chiming in, everyone, and please keep those comments coming. Uh, I think it should be behind me, but as you can see, I'm kind of in, in locked in between these fellow passengers of mine. Facebook, Twitter, X, and The Roadshow. Uh, leave a comment on our bus topic each morning, and you never know, we might read yours right here on the air. Where is that drink cart? Please, immediately. He's got to go to the bathroom. Quick, i got to get back to see Metallica. <laughs> Speaking of travel, still to come.